Hello there. I love it. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. That's fun. I'll be on the stage. I'll be sitting on the stage. My name is Monty. I'll be your host for this evening. And this, uh, starting from my left, your right, is tonight's cast. Stephen. Stace. Meryl. Christian. Clay. Joy. And we also have Bryce Byerly improvising the sound and music effect. And we have Aaron Sines improvising the lights. As we are the unscripted theater company, most of the theater that we do is entirely unscripted. But for this show, that is different. So tonight we have an actual playwright who wrote the first scene. So I would like you to welcome David Malky. And coming to us through the magic of technology. <laughs> Assuming it works. Yeah. 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 Um, let's 
characters who are playing unspecified characters. We have Clay, we have Meryl, we have Stacy, and we have uh, Steven. The other, the other st- <laughs> um, is, are there any? Uh, I, don't, I know we don't want to know too much about what's supposed to happen next. Um, do we have any uh, hints of anybody that these delightful and specified characters might be? It's okay. For me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I would imagine that they would be their coworkers or the people that are ready to laugh with them. Involved in your lives. There, there is one third character specified in this movie. Okay. So if you guys read, yes. if you guys read carefully, there's yeah. <laughs> 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 a ghost. <laughs> I've got a rat puppet, so we're good. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything else that you guys would like to know? They all look very confident. <laughs> <laughs> What do you imagine the machine of death looks like? Oh yeah, what do you imagine the machine of death looks like? Can we use an iPad? Oh wow. Well. <laughs> or lemon. Nice label that says machine of death. Nice to put your finger in, blood sample. Kind of kind of ominous. This is a, an early machine, but still being built, there's like different connections and stuff. Okay. So it's sort of a prototype version of the machine of death. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Some of the shared rules in, of all the stories in the book indica- are that the machine uh, takes a blood sample, the machine prints out a little piece of paper with the predicted death of whosoever blood that is. Uh, the death is always right for that same, or is always right, period, in some way, and is always the same for this for a given person, regardless of how many times they take the test. Those are the shared rules of the machine death universe. Beyond that, the details of the the machine, uh, they're very different from story to story, so they could certainly be invented. So, let me, uh, if the timeline of this story uh, is starting before mass adoption of the machine in society? It's, it seems like it's still an experimental state. Okay, so the yes. society yes. has not yet been changed by our, the invention. I would say no. Yes. Okay. That is correct. Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Anything cool. else? I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask the the artistic question. Mr. Malcolm, Mr. North, what do you think that theater can do? Live theater that uh, that books and TV and movies cannot. Hopefully sell copies of the books. <laughs> <laughs> As far as he knows, I do every day. (laughs) Okay, so one last thing. Um, What do we think that the set looks like for the beginning of the show? It's uh, a different lab. So science, you know, test tubes, (laughs) bubbling. and unscripted theater. We have some props. We have not other props. So some of them might be imaginary. Some of the things might be used as other things. We're all going to use our collective imaginations. All right. So you guys set up the most science-y lab that you possibly can. Let's give our playwrights another round of applause.